Hello and welcome. If you like today's tutorial, please like and subscribe. It really helps. Today, I want to try and work with groom hair and either convert or create from scratch groom hair for this character. We begin today inside Unreal Engine 5. Now I must stress, I am not an expert. I am not intermediate. I am a beginner with this stuff. And I can only show you what I have learned so far. What I intend to do today is take studio, uh, Daz Studio hair, convert it using Blender into groom hair that we can then place on this metahuman. I do not know if it is even possible, but I am going to try today. If you have uh, maybe Character Creator or some other software, large parts of this tutorial are going to apply to you too. So don't worry if you don't use Dash Studio. I am using Dash Studio to obtain our an OBJ of our hair. And that is it today. I would use another software, but Daz is what I use. Okay, with that being said, let's proceed. Here's our character, Hannah. The first thing we need to do is obtain a static mesh of Hannah's head. Anna's head is attached to a Daz Studio Genesis 8 body. If we zoom out, there we go. I, it's from my previous tutorial. If you haven't checked that out, Custom Metahumans, go and check that out. That's where I attached this head to the body. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a static mesh, as I said. So we go to Metahumans, Hannah, and Face, and we find this head mesh open it up one moment it's on the wrong screen there we go there is Anna's head and what I want to do is up here you can click make static mesh it will ask you where you want to store it I actually want to store it in metahumans Hannah base and I want to call that face static, no, Hannah base static mesh. Hit save. Now I can close that like so. And then in our content folder in MetaHuman's Hannah face, we now have this static mesh. It looks a little strange because the shade is not correct but that is fine for the purposes of this tutorial that really is fine um, there we go right all we really need is a static mesh to export to blender so with that being said let me right click asset actions export and i want to go to my folder here we go and export it as an FBX. So I untick level of detail. I don't really need collision it's not, and make sure morph targets is unchecked. Although there isn't no morph targets on this, this static mesh. Uh, and that's it, export. Now, the first thing I want to do is open Blender. So I will do that now. Here we are inside Blender. I am running 3.0.1 and I need to make sure that my screencast keys are enabled so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Now hit A and X to delete everything. Go to import, import FBX and we go to our folder where I exported our static mesh to, uncheck animation, hit import. And there we go. If I do shift C, it zooms us in. There we go. 
and we have a static mesh of our metahuman head. Now, in an ideal world, I would strip everything from the head except the shape of the head, but that is beyond the scope of this tutorial today. So, right now we have a head. What I want to do this time is I want to instantly export this and I want to export it as an OBJ to the same folder again and we'll call this Anna face static and UE5. It's just so I can identify it. In the geometry section, I don't think we need to change anything. No. Okay, so just export that. I've done this, so we've got now got an OBJ and we have an FBX. What I want to do now is move over to Daz Studio. Obviously, if you don't use Daz Studio, at this point you would use your own software, whatever it is that you use to create hair. And then you, you would export in the way that you would export from that. But I, I will use Daz Studio for the next bit. So if you want to skip that, please do. But know that by the end of it, I will have an OBJ with our hair. Here we are inside Daz Studio and I've loaded in a dev or development Genesis 8 character. Next, I want to import our MetaHuman head. So let me go to tutorials. And here it is, Hannah Face Static UE5. Let me open that up. It may take a while because there's quite a lot of geometry. One moment. And I think this I think this is all right. Let me try it. This is the first time I've done this, remember. You are learning with me. And what I'm doing is importing the metahuman head as an OBJ. So I can try and scale our Genesis 8 character to, to roughly match, uh, particularly the head. I want that to roughly match our metahuman head. I forgive me that didn't work. Let me try again. Import and HANA face static UE5. And I need to make sure we are set to Z, Y, so it's X, Y, Z. And here, first what I did is choose Blender, like so. Then choose Z here, and it will switch these for you. And then here, we need to set this to 10,000. So there we go, 10,000. Hit import, and there you go. Our metahuman head is now in our scene. Right, what I want, it actually looks pretty close already. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think we're going to have to be doing much with this. Let's just move it into place and spin around and just take a look. Yep, yeah, it is pretty much already pretty good for this particular metahuman. This is not crucial, it's just it's going to work a lot better if your metahuman head is the same size. So I think with the Genesis 8 character I am going to scale it down just slightly to 99.5%. Yep. Yeah. So you see, it is now pretty close. Fantastic. Now we can delete our metahuman head. We don't need it. And now what I'm going to do is go and find some hair in my library. I probably should have done this first. Uh, I will do that. One moment. The hair I've chosen is Nerve Fashion Stylized Bob, which is this. I don't want to go any longer than this 
because inside Unreal Engine 5, we're going to run into problems with collision on the body, and that is beyond what I want to do today. That, that will extend the tutorial massively. So I think we're going to struggle with this. So I may have to shorten it in Blender, but for now, this is what I have. This is not strand-based hair. This is not a strand-based hair tutorial. That will come in the future. But for today, I just want to keep this as simple as possible. I do want to play with some of these morphs just to get a more unique style. There we go. Yeah, probably there. Right. So what I'm going to do first is I just want to see how many pieces this hair is in. It's, it's actually a one piece. That's great. That's what we want. Sometimes these hairstyles come in, they'll have a scalp and, and different parts and you're going to have to export those and combine them. In this case, I don't have to do that. And I am reasonably happy with that. Right, so I'm going to export this, make sure that I have it selected. Oh, forgive me. Export as an OBJ. And that's the Mouse King tutorial folder. We don't want that one. And there we go. And we will call this Bob Hair and hit save and these are the settings I have I will leave them up for a, a moment scale is at 1% uh, filtered object is to selected roots and so on right hit accept and we will send that over what I want to do now is close Des studio Back inside Blender, what we need first, I already have the plugin. We're going to be using this Daz Hair Converter plugin here. This is not my plugin, but I have it on my GitHub. Let me bring that across for you. So if you go to GitHub and my GitHub, we have currently this. You would download this zip file here by clicking on it and then go to Blender Preferences. Go to add-ons, click install, and at this point you would choose the zip file you just installed and then you would install it. Make sure it is enabled and then this panel will pop up here, Daz Hair Converter. With that installed, we need to import our hair. So go to import, away from OBJ, there is our bob hair. Under Geometry, select Keep Vertex Order and Tick Polygroups. And that's it. Import. And there you go. As you can see, it's still coming very large look. But let's just move it down into place and see how far off we are. Uh, yeah, it's still quite large but we will get to that for now I want you to hide the hair up here and we're going to need a scalp this hair does come with a scalp and we're going to remove that and let me show you that in fact let's hide the metahuman head and go to the hair and only you can see inside there there is a scalp or a cap and we will be removing that in fact, let's do that right now. So select the hair, hit tab to go into edit mode, deselect everything by clicking off anywhere. Go to our material properties, go to scalp, hit select, there it is. Hit P, click selection, and it has now separated the scalp into a separate mesh. So if we go back to our object mode by hitting tab, and we hide the hair, look, we just have the scalp left over. And now, obviously, I want to do this. I want to replace this scalp with the metahuman scalp. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is just actually line up our metahuman by hitting G and bringing it up slightly and grab Y. There we go. I think, so as you can see, it's slightly bigger the Daz hair cap. And I think I think that's good because normally if you haven't got that cap, let me just hide our Daz cap for a moment, you would have to enlarge this by scaling it up just slightly so it's it's larger. So your hair is lo slightly larger obviously than your metahuman head. But we don't need to do that in this case. I think looking at this I'm actually going to not create a hair cap in this instance. Oh no, I must because a lot of you might not be using Daz Studio. Okay, so I will do that. Let me hide the Daz Studio cap and select our metahuman head. Go into edit mode, click off. And what we need to do is come up here and select faces. I want to zoom in a little so we can see what we're working with and what I'm going to do is hit C and it gives us this circle and now we can just literally paint and we want to create the shape of a cap like so now I am terrible at this so I might have to speed up the video I really am terrible at that. Anyway, this is the hair cap we have. It's not perfect, but for this tutorial, it will do. And with that selected, hit Shift D to duplicate and then left click on your mouse without moving the mouse. So we don't move it. And that's click created a, a duplicate. We then hit P and click selection. And now if we go back into object mode by hitting tab, we should have a separate mesh that we just created. The first thing I want to do with our new cap is make sure it's selected, rename it meta cap so we know and then i want to rename the the daz cap daz cap i'm going to try and not use the daz cap i will use the meta cap so everybody can follow along but i do like the daz one better right anyway so with that selected we want to go to vertex groups there's no group vertex groups good good right and go into edit mode by hitting tab again. A to select all. And what I want to do is assign the material. And let's rename this to cap this material. Once again, hit assign. Now we've assigned a material to it. I want to come to vertex groups. And although it's not that important, we're going to call this cap and I think oh sorry hit sign after you've created cap and that's it go back into object mode and our cap now has a vertex group and a material next we want to go to our bob haircut and show it again Let's zoom out, shift C to, so we can see the whole thing. 
and yeah I think it is slightly larger not to worry let's just hide it a moment and show our metahuman head right first thing is first select our cap and also hold shift select our metahuman go to object apply all transforms and then I'm going to select our cap and um, with that done I want to scale up slightly there we go just so the cap is slightly bigger than the metahuman head right and then go back to object apply all transforms again and now we're going to enable the hair so we can see it and now we're going to adjust the hair so it fits over our metahuman head i reckon it needs scaling down a little let's just grab first yeah so s to scale and it just looks a little bit too big to me right and grab a z on the z axis there we go and i think that's fine let me go to x let's pull it forward a little pop it to there what we can do is look inside by hitting x-ray or if you actually select your metahuman head you can see the outline look so maybe we can pull it a little bit further i don't, I don't want to do too much there we go and let's look at the metahuman again yep that's fine yeah, for the purposes of the tutorial, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so next, what I want to do is convert this into particles. Let us do some quick housekeeping. Select the hair, the bob hair. Go to material properties and from this drop down, remove unused slots and that will just remove the scalp material and so on and on our meta cap we don't need to do that on the cap do we i don't think nope nope okay and what we can do now and i suggest you do it is do a bit of sculpting give yourself so with hair selected go to the sculpting tab Shift C to zoom in. Oh, it's not doing it. Zoom in. There we go. I would use my uh, middle mouse button to zoom in, but it's really not working very well at the minute. I need a new mouse. Right, so I just want to sculpt some of this away from here because when we apply groom physics, it will kind of move in inwards. So if it's a little bit further, if it's, a, you can't see my hands, but basically I'm parting this hair. So let me just make sure I can see. I want to enable mirroring on the X axis and increase the radius. And I think I'm going to use a snake hook just to pull the hair out like this. And I want to do it around the face as well. Look just slightly and these ends I definitely want to pull those out like so and I'm going to pull the hair up slightly like that and then let's look here mm. let's look from the back pull the hair out outwards just slightly like this and then I want to pull out the back it's just so I'm pulling it away from the metahuman head, basically, so we don't get hair going through the head when we convert it to groom. Right, can we see inside? That looks okay, I think. Let's just pull it, make sure it's pulled away from the eyes as well. There we go. Don't worry if it's a little bit further away, because when, when we simulate it, oh, sorry, when we convert it to groom hair and, and simulate physics, it will drop back down I think that's fine I did not do oops all right that was way too far 
Okay. He's probably going to look terrible, but... Let me just... Yep. There you go. So basically, sculpt your hair to how you like it. Once you are happy with your sculpt, we can then go back to object mode and select our hair. In fact, first, hide your metahuman head, like so. Select your hair, select the cap, and then come over to our DAS plugin by going to, uh, sorry, our DAS hair converter, by going DAS, click in here, hit convert, and that's it. We now have particle hair. Fantastic, right? Uh, did I already set, yep, to strip, that's great. Make sure this is set to strip. Play around with it, you might have better results with strand. Right, so here is our particle hair, if we click on particles. That's our particle hair system. And what I want to do is, in the details of this, go to hair shape. And for my purposes, I want to choose 005. And it, as you can see, it just thickens up the hair. You experiment with that yourself and you may find different values work for your hair. But for the purposes of this, I quite like that. I do. Maybe I will just scale the whole thing up to 0.2. Mm. That may be a bit too thick, but I'll try it anyway. Right. So the next thing we need to do is come to here where it says render. Untick show emitter. And we'll do that in the viewport as well on viewport display untick show emitter and then you can see it's removed the cap now i want to come to our uh, name here and i want to name this hair now because it's no longer a cap it's hair before i export to the engine i just I'm not happy with how this looks. I can see the head cap in there. And I know there's going to be too much hair here and it, it looks too big around the cap. So what I'm going to do is ensure I thin out the hair first. So I can do that by going to children. Yep, and I will set children to 15. As you can see, it just, it lowers our count. Yep, that's a lot thinner. And then, I think I'm going to cut this hair. So, if I come up here and go to particle edit mode, and I choose cut. Again, I'm not used to doing this kind of thing, so this is, only the second time I've tried it, so cut and maybe if we just started about here and just cut like so, oh, it's probably too much. Let me take the strength down and then just cut. I want to keep the basic shape, but just cut it back like so. Right, I've had a couple of practice runs and I am now happy with this version of the hair. It looks slightly thin, but inside Unreal Engine it seems to look okay. So, having said that, I'm going to select our hair. Right click, export, go to alembic.abc. I do have various versions here, but as I said, I just had a couple of practice runs. 
to make sure I get this right. And I will name this Bob Hair version 5. Go to scale, set to 100. Go to end, choose one. Selected objects and visible objects. Ensure that your hair is selected. And, and that's it. Hit export. And now that should export to the engine. And I will see you inside the engine. Here we are back inside Unreal Engine 5. Now, because I haven't done it yet, or if I haven't done it at the beginning of this tutorial, I can't quite remember. Go to plugins, type in groom, and ensure that our Alembic groom importer is enabled. The engine, you will have to restart the engine when you enable this plugin. With the plugin enabled, you can right click in your folder that you created, import to game, MetaHumans HANA. Is that where we are? We're in MetaHumans HANA, female hair, custom hair. Wow, that's quite long. <laughs> and then we choose our Bob Hair version 5 there, which I've just exported from Blender. Hit open. If it's done correct, if it, you've exported correctly and you're and to a, a Alembic file, then you will get this dialog box. It will say status file valid. In rotation, I've set X to 90. And in scale, I've set Y to minus one. Hit import. This is what we've got. It's not a bad groom. Yep, I quite like that. Anyway, so before I do any physics, don't enable the physics or anything yet. Let's close that. And I want to go to our bob hair, right click and create a binding. And it'll ask you for a skeletal, a target skeletal mesh. In this case, we are using HANA. So I will search for HANA, HANA face mesh. And we, we select our HANA face mesh and then hit create and just hit save and that's it we've created a groom binding for our hair now if we select our character again i'm not going to touch the physics or anything for the moment select our character hit edit blueprint okay with our character blueprint open i now want to ha add hair to do this select face hit add type in groom and choose a, a groom and name this hair okay hit compile and save come over here to the de details panel go to groom asset and choose our groom asset that we just created oh sorry that we just imported in my case that's bob hair version 5 and there you go uh, hit compile and save then go to binding asset and we need our binding asset in this case bob hair version 5 there we go hit compile and save in materials when you imported your meta human you will have got a hair material with that usually it starts with mi and then hair i've got quite a lot because in this project there's a lot of meta humans from various tutorials and so I think I'm going to choose this one for now. It's like a brown color, but obviously you can open up your material and you can change anything you want. And with the current version of MetaHumans, you can even choose a hair dye. So that is in my promo shop for this hair dye. Um, how do we enable hair dye? Oh, sorry you have to reset all these to 0.1 and 0.1 and then save and then if we go back she should have green hair do you see okay now obviously i don't want her to have green hair but the point is made oops right so 
I'll leave her with that hair for a moment and then with the binding complete if I add an animation we everything should move together so I click on body and I'm just going to use a test animation our idle and everything's moving fine okay so let me disable that again right go back to the hair click on your groom asset or double click there we go and I want to make some changes now before I enable simulation first I'm going to change the sub steps to a minimum of six you can do more uh, but it will use more resources then I want to come down and for now I want to set the bend stiffness quite high uh, you may find a different value works better for you I'm going to set it to one in fact and then the collision radius I'm going to set that to five for now again that's quite high and I think for the purposes of this tutorial that might be okay I don't want to touch anything in the strand size or anything that's going too far but what I found is by editing these values you can change the shape of the hair as well if it's in the face or or in a part that you don't want it right let's get to here and enable simulation this could take a while depending on on what your settings are etc uh, this is actually fine it's already done it and so now we have it's very difficult without uh, a faster animation which i don't have at the moment but there we go, we have a groom attached to our metahuman with physics. Fantastic. I've done some final editing. I've adjusted the colour of the hair. There we go, I've made it kind of this blue colour to match the jacket. And with that we can hit play and we are finished. If you choose longer hair, you're going to have problems with collision in the body. I don't know how to solve that yet. I'm just not smart enough, I guess, or I haven't learned enough. And so I still have problems with hair going through the body. If anybody knows how to solve that, that'd be fantastic. I have tried applying uh, correct physics to the body and then enabling all collisions. And it just seems to make no difference whatsoever. But with that, I think that is a great place to leave this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's tutorial, then please like and subscribe. It really helps. If you've got any questions, please ask in the comment section and I will try my very best to answer. More tutorials are on the way. Until then, bye bye for now.